Hi, this is Jeff Linderman. I'm an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. Welcome to my video showcasing the new functionality added to SolidWorks Plastics for 2019. The SolidWorks Plastics Injection Molding Simulation Add-in was developed to help users predict and avoid defects during the earliest stages of part and mold design, eliminating costly mold rework, improving part quality, and decreasing time to market. Our technical team at GoEngineer created this flying saucer model based off of a declassified project from the 1950s. I will show the new enhancements on this flight stick handle. The enhancements for SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2019 will speed up the workflow in the software by adding geometry-based boundary conditions, such as injection locations, control valves, and mold wall temperatures. A best practice when running injection molding simulations is to define your gate location with a split line feature and then refining this area to get an accurate representation of the gate size. By defining the gate and adding the mesh refinement using the geometry based boundary conditions, if the gate location is moved on the part, we no longer have to reselect the location after the model is remeshed. In this step, I am applying a mesh of 0.25 millimeters to this area that which we have predefined as our gate location. When we finish the process of meshing the model, we can now see that the mesh is improved in this area. So now if we were to create another configuration of this model with a different gate location, we can see that the injection location and the mesh when we remesh the model will actually be refined in this area as well. Defining mold wall temperature boundaries on parts previously was a slow process. We had to select the mesh elements during the process which required some model view manipulation and many selection clicks as we can see here. Now in Plastics 2019, we can simply define the mold wall temperature boundary just by selecting the faces on a model. This process is much more efficient and we will not have to redefine those areas if we remesh the model again. Once we assign these boundary conditions, we now have flags on those surface areas that actually indicate what that mold wall temperature is at that location. SOLIDWORKS Plastics Premium has the Advanced Cooling Analysis Package, which allows for analysis and optimization of cooling channels. SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2019 has improved the cooling channel meshing during the channel design step, allowing for tighter bends in your channel design. If we look at this mesh from Plastics 2018, we can see that it struggled to mesh the cooling channels with short segments. Now I'll go through the steps to remesh this model and redefine the cooling channels and we see that the cooling channels will mesh and follow the tighter, shorter corners. This improvement will also help when designing conformal cooling channels in which the channels have tighter bends and smaller radiuses. One other added feature is the clear study tree function. This will reset a study to its default state. It clears out all of the study data to get a fresh start. As we have seen, these new features in SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2019 will help increase productivity by reducing the setup time and repetitive selections that were previously required in the injection molding simulations. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to visit the GoEngineer video library to see many other videos like this one showing the new enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2019. This has been Jeff Linderman with GoEngineer.